All right, in this video, I'm going to very quickly review how to create a bar graph. I'm assuming that uh, you have already watched uh, the video, How to Create um, Graphs in uh, First Quadrant Graphs. So I'm going to assume that uh, uh, you've understood all the stuff that was in that video and just go from there. Okay, so we have our uh, y-axis, we have our x-axis, and we have to have a label and we have to have a title. The first thing that uh, we're going to do is add our title. Now, in order to do that, uh, I have to tell you what it is that we're looking at. So let's suppose that we're looking at uh, car color. Okay. And you would have some sort of a table. So, if, for example, if you have blue cars, maybe we saw three blue cars. If you saw some green cars, maybe you saw four. Uh, yellow cars, maybe there is uh, one and uh, red cars, uh, let's say uh, you saw two, okay? So uh, along the uh, x-axis here, we have to put these labels here, blue, green, yellow, and red, okay? So I do that, and uh, another thing I need to point out is when you are writing these labels along here, you need to make sure, first of all, that you are spacing them evenly. Okay, so uh, make sure that you don't have uh, a big space here for blue and a big space here for green and a big space here for yellow and then the red one is just tucked in uh, at the end here. Okay, so you need to make sure they're evenly spaced. So, blue, green, yellow, and red. Okay, all right, so now the next thing we have to do is we have to work out along the y-axis here, which we always have numbers. Um, so these numbers are going to go, uh, are going to determine the size of our bars here. But along the scale here, we have to work out what are the steps that our scale is going to use. Are we going to count up in steps of uh, one, like one, two, three, four, five, or are we going to go up in steps, sets, steps of two, like two, four, six, eight, or, or what? Because our, the biggest number we have here is four, uh, we could probably uh, just go up in steps of one. All right, so that's what I'm going to do. So zero is here, okay? And uh, another thing I need to remind you of is you're going to be doing this on squared paper, all right? So I'm not doing it on squared paper. So I am pretending that there is a line going here and a line going here and a line going here. On squared paper, you don't need to draw in extra lines. Just use the lines that are already on the paper to determine where you write your numbers, okay? so. Let's, so, let's say I've got another line here, that would be 1, and another line here, that would be 2, another line here, that would be 3, and another line here, that would be 4. And you notice that I've tried to keep the distance between these numbers the same. All right? It's very important that uh, when you are drawing the bars, when you're looking at the numbers here, that you keep the spaces the same. Okay, so the space between 0 and 1 and the space between 1 and 2 is the same, and it's the same for all of these others. All right, so let's go on to drawing our, our bar. Okay, so the first bar that we've uh, got to look at is blue, and we had 3. Okay, so that means we look at blue, okay, and we count up 3, 1, 2, 3. So this is where our blue bar will end. Okay, all right, so come up, now I don't have the luxury of a ruler, so I'm doing this as neatly as I can, okay, so there's three, now um, I also need to point out another thing, when you're doing the bars, all right, 
uh, some people like you to put a space between the y-axis and the side of the bar, okay? Uh, and that means that if you do that, you must do it for all of the bars. That means if you have a space between here and the side of the bar, the space here needs to be the same over between the blue and the green bar, and it needs to be the, the same between the green and the yellow, and so on. All right? Um, I think just in order to make sure you don't get confused, I think what I will do is I will do it that way. Okay, so there's three. Draw it along. Okay, and down. Whoops. And down. All right. And so now I have to make sure that the space between the y-axis and the side of the bar is roughly the same between the blue and the green. But as I say, I'm not using squared paper, so it's going to be a little bit difficult. So you have to just bear with me. So the green cars are four, so I go up to four and across and down. And again, something else I need to make sure of, I need to make sure that the width of each bar is the same. Okay, again, I, I, I don't have a ruler and I'm not using squared paper, so I'm just kind of um, doing the best I can freehand. Okay, and then yellow has one, so one is about there. Bring that down. And then red had two. Mm, I think that's about two there. And it comes down there. All right. Okay, so the next step is we double check our uh, bars. Okay, so uh, this one looks good. This one looks good. That one looks like about okay, and that one looks okay. Now I have to label this one here. This will just be uh, uh, colors. Okay, and along the y-axis, I will just write number of cars and I'll just write a title here which I can get from here car color and underline okay and I label this the x-axis I label this the y-axis all right and I'm done okay so I have shown you uh, to, how to uh, take a table here and put the information from the table into a bar graph. I've also explained that uh, the bar graph has an x and y axis and that you have to write along the x axis these items here, which are basically the groups, the labels identifying the groups. And along the y-axis, we have the numbers that go with those groups. I've also talked about the fact that uh, uh, when you are putting the numbers along the y-axis, if you have a lar if your biggest number is very large, then the steps between the numbers will be uh, larger, maybe steps of 5 or 10 or 20 or even 50 or 100. But if you have, in the, like in this case, a small number, you can go up in steps of one or two or even three. Okay? I've also pointed out that the x-axis has to have a title, and the y-axis also has to have a title. And uh, that's really about it. So you now know how to uh, create a bar graph. I suppose the most important thing you have to remember, besides the title and the labels keep the side the width of the bars the same and the distance between them the same okay well i wish you good luck enjoy